okay hello hello everyone and welcome to the another episode in this episode i will be applying materials without unwrapping this object without applying any uvs i will be applying texture to this object okay and but before i begin i would like to make sure that there are no uvs attached to this object so let's check this click on this and come down to data object data properties and under uv maps there's nothing if there is uh, for example let me add you will see this uv map slot so if you have just press minus and there will be no uv and other way is you can go to uv editing and as you can see there is nothing over here so there is no uvs okay so let's begin the process first we will go to shading and here let me select this it's selected and click new to create a new material All right and i will click and drag so everything is deselected and now if you have the node wrangler add-on what we can do is click on this principled bsdf and we can press the shortcut Control shift t only if you have downloaded maps that comes with height map ambient occlusion normal map and all of those things but if you don't have, if you just have a single texture, let's say the diffuse texture, and you just want the setup, what, we, what you can do is select this and press Control T. So it will give the node setup with the texture node. So in order to get the texture, instead of clicking open what I will do is I will go to my Explorer and I will click and drag okay and this way it will create a texture node and I will delete this node select and delete all right and now let's connect the node so the vector goes to the vector and the color goes to the base color okay so without applying any uv we can get the text uh, the color of the texture but we don't see the actual texture all right so what we need to do is come over here to texture coordinates and as you can see it is connected to uv it's looking for a uv and we don't have so instead of UV, let's connect generated to this vector and let's see the effect. Whoa, now we, now we can see the texture. So we are seeing the texture without unwrapping this object. All right. Now, as we as we can see it needs some attention the texture is not looking appropriate over here so what we need to do is come to the texture node and instead of flat projection let's change this to box whoa now you can see how the lovely projection and this model is looking without doing any unwrapping this is the result this is absolutely acceptable all right so now how we can change the scale of this texture and for example I would like to increase the size of this texture how I can do it so come over here to the mapping node and you can see the scale so let's click and drag 
and if we give a lower value it will increase the texture size so if i give the value 0.6 as you can see the texture size has increased this is how we can manage to adjust to our liking all right now the diffuse texture part is done now excuse me i would like to add a bump to this texture and over here uh i don't have a bump map so what i want to do is create a black and white version of this texture and then use that black and white map as a, a bump map all right so we can we can do it multiple ways either we can take this to a photo editing app and make a black and white version or we can do within blender here all right let's do it then so press shift a and then search for ram just type ram r a m p so we get this color ramp click and we get this node color ramp node we can just okay just click right and now there's only one input so what we need to do is take this color and connect this to the fac that's the only input and from here what we need to do is just get some more room and all we need to do is just click control shift click first we need to adjust this texture so we can so we have the black and white version and let's adjust it zoom in and let's play with this aha now this is what i am looking for so again we can adjust this to how however intense look you are going for but for example let me just uh, maybe just a little bit okay let's say this is we are happy with this so how we can use this as a bump map all right so in order to get the bump what we need to do is shift a and search for bump b u m p and then click so we get this bump node what we need to do is normal as you can see the easy part is the normal goes to the normal all right now here this color this color node we need to connect this to no not normal we need to connect this to the height node okay so the color is connected to the height node all right so now we need to see the effect control shift and then click on this physical principled bsdf and now we can see our texture with the bump map applied to it let's see what happens let me remove this and see the result without the bump and then if i connect this back to the normal as you can see the bump map is so let's reduce or actually increase the roughness so we don't have very shiny surface okay so if you want you can also select inward based on your liking whatever you are after and we can adjust the strength however you want all right so now let's move ahead and let's work on the leg let's apply the wood finish for this one okay again i will click new 
and uh, let me give a name leg front okay just to keep things organized so we have this default principle bsdf okay so i will click this and press ctrl t so i have this node set up and let me bring in the wood texture so i will browse to my wood folder and i will use this wood okay so we have this wood texture node so i will delete this one and connect vector to the vector and connect the color to the base color and now oh let's change this from instead of uv let's change this from coming from the generated and we will change the projection from flat to the box okay now in this case if you're wondering how we can adjust the alignment of the texture so it better matches the angle of the object again we will come back to the mapping node and let's play with the rotation value all right so click and drag and see what we get yeah now it's looking better let's take a look and we can just try to fix it okay so this part is done how about if i apply the same texture over here okay so let's click this button if i want to use the same texture just drop down and then this is the one leg front ah so i think i need to create a new one for this material at the moment this leg front material is being is being shared if i make any changes it will it will change it will affect the other object as well for example if i change this from generated instead of generated i will select uv and connect it to vector as you can see it's affecting both so in order to make this unique okay at the moment it has been shared by two users means two objects so let me click on this and now this becomes unique so let me rename this let's say leg front 2 okay so now if i make any changes it remains unique to this leg okay so let me try to adjust as you can see and looks fine to me okay let's work on the leg at the back again i will click on this and instead of creating a new one let's take from the one we have already leg front two okay and this needs adjustment same thing i will do click on this to make it unique and i will rename this instead of leg front i will call this leg back something that easily identifies what it is one and we can try to adjust and just adjust it based on what we are seeing okay looks fine to me same thing we will do for this one and i will click on this drop down and select leg back one and i think i need to make this unique as well so click on this number two and rename this to leg back two okay and now the changes i make for this one will remain unique so let's adjust it okay better following the flow of the object
Okay, try to adjust this one. Something like this. Should be okay. Yeah. All right. Let's make adjustment from this side as well. And we are good. Okay then. As you can see, without doing any unwrapping, we successfully applied acceptable texture. Of course, we can adjust the bump map strength, but this is just to showcase we can achieve this result without going for unwrapping for this kind of object. All right. And for this cushion, well, we can apply anything but for now I'll just select this one just to keep things short and for the stitching I think it's I think it's okay I like it white all right so over here let's go to material preview and as you can see how easily without applying any UVs you can check here we do not have any UV so how this is getting this kind of texture let's come back to shading so what's happening is this node generated it's actually generating it for us but we we don't see it I, and I don't care I'm only looking after for the end result all right so I'm happy with this end result and we can further tweak it so we can proceed fast with our end result okay without worrying about unwrapping the objects so I hope this was this was somewhat beneficial to you and uh, hope to see you in the future videos so give a thumbs up like and subscribe if you haven't already and